to JSA TV, your virtual newsroom for telecom professionals. Joining us here today, we're honored to have Mr. Ambrose McNevin. He is, of course, the editor-in-chief of Data Center Dynamics Focus Magazine, and he joins us once again from his busy newsroom over in London. So welcome, Ambrose. Hi, Jamie. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being here. As uh, you know, this is a series where we really feature what's coming up in the latest issue of Data Center Dynamics Focus Magazine. Right now on the stands, issue 32, the November-December issue. So, Ambrose, can you give us a preview? Can do. Thanks, Jamie. This is the biggest ever magazine that we've done. And we do uh, cover, as it says on the cover of the magazine, we uh, cover everything from the device to the data center. So if I could just take you through some of those uh, uh, topics that, that we cover. Uh, my team has been really globe-trotting, been around the world. We've been to IBM Enterprise. We've been to Oracle Open World. We've been to VM World. Uh, we've been to EMC. And we've spoken with everybody involved in uh, data center uh, equipment manufacturer and supply. And we've covered uh, uh, everything from the processors. We went to the Intel Developer Forum, heard from Intel. We've heard from AMD, who've given us very, very different views on how the server on chip uh, uh, products are going to uh, develop. We have an interview with Carl Grodner, who is the uh, CEO of PacNet, about how uh, he is going to lead the company into its challenges and changes in the, uh, in the Asian market. Uh, we have covered uh, hybrid cloud, uh, the strategies that are being deployed by various uh, uh, players, uh, also looking at cloud service catalogs. Do they actually deliver it? Do they exist for, for many companies, or are they still uh, thin on the ground? And we've also looked at uh, in, in depth and had some uh, data center visits. We've been to see uh, eBay, and we've had a, a chat with uh, Equinix about its, uh, how it's addressing uh, the derivative market uh, as, the, uh, as electronic trading comes to uh, derivatives and how colos are going to uh, address that. So we really covered uh, the full spectrum of data center operations, uh, uh, as we say, from, from the chip all the way up to the application. Great. I love the globe trotting coverage. Very exciting. So also, November is the month that we all know to attend Data Center Dynamics Converged uh, X event, and that's in London, November 20th. So it is, uh, it is heralded as the world's largest peer-led data center conference and expo. Tell us, what is on the agenda there? Yeah, you're right. We've got two days of uh, fantastic uh, sessions, uh, over, running over six holes. We cover everything from design, build, and operate. IT optimization, outsourcing, all the way through software-defined data center, uh, all the way through uh, uh, really where, where the industry is going. There'll be two and a half thousand people uh, there attending over the two days. Um, we will have keynote speeches from uh, Christian Bellotti of Microsoft, from Dean Nelson of eBay, who will be talking about Project Mercury, which is also covered in the magazine. Uh, Tom Furlong from uh, Facebook is going to be talking about OpenStack and how uh, Facebook is developing its data center strategy, um, along with many, many other sessions where we really get deep dive into the technical issues that are, that are uh, impacting the, the data center today. Uh, George Schleschman, CEO of IO, is going to be talking about data center 2.0 and how it's addressing the market. Um, other areas of interest are going to be around the tech park, where we have a lot of modular solutions uh, in there. We've got a few surprises planned, uh, not least which is uh, uh, around the party that we always have at the end of the first night, which is always worth attending. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a full range of activities, and it's a fantastic opportunity for really everybody to get together, to network, but also to understand and, and, and get to know what's uh, it's happening in the industry, both today and, and, and how things are going to develop into, into 2014. And I should also say you're, you're going to be hosting a panel on software-defined data centers. Okay, yeah, I should, be, uh, I should be in the halls uh, uh, host, hosting a panel. We should be doing one-to-one -one interviews as well with some of the, the, the key attendees, speakers, uh, uh, and also hoping to get to speak to the, uh, to the delegates themselves. Uh, um, they represent our readers, they represent our end users, and we really like to, to use the opportunity to speak directly to them about the issues that they're facing. Oh, I love it. So where can our viewers go to learn more information, download uh, Issue 32? 
Uh, the magazine is available on the website in a digital format, so go to datacenterdynamics.com please and just click on magazine. And the magazine is also available uh, through at any of the DCD events uh, which is uh, happening, happening in November and December. Or you can go directly to the App Store and uh, download the uh, Data Center Dynamics Focus uh, magazine, um, iPad edition. And uh, that will include exclusive content uh, that is produced exclusively for the iPad edition, so that's definitely well worth doing. Definitely a busy time of year over at Data Center Dynamics. Thank you, Ambrose, for joining us today. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.